Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Iqbal Hakimi Beas Padi I'm from class 6C1B And today I will be presenting about uh, My type of test that is the traffic volume study The location of the study is at Jalan Matahari U5-102 Taman Subang Damai Shah Alam Selangor So the objectives of the study is to define the vehicle composition and the traffic flow to observe the traffic flow trend and to estimate hourly volume so the apparatus is my handphone or my laptop to record the video pencil and book to load down how many cars and the book the procedure is to have a 30 minute video of an axinalized junction that has six pattern movements there will be an interval of five minutes until the 30 minute mark there are six categories that are cars motorcycles light vans medium lorries heavy lorries and buses Hi again. So for the data that I have recorded, as I have just said, there are six patterns of movements on the road. So I have uh, calculated and recorded all of the data. So this is all the data that I will show you. So I have uh, said that there are six types of lanes or six types of movements. And I have recorded for in an interval of 30 minutes. I have sectioned it for each 5 minutes If you can see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 So I have uh, junctioned it for passenger cars, motorcycles, light vans, medium lorries, heavy lorries and buses And for each of these uh, color represents the lane So for the orange color is for lane 1 The blue color is for lane 2, V2 uh, purple color for lane 3 This is for lane 4 This is for lane 5 And this is for lane 6 For the calculation for this uh, experiment uh, I will be referring to the Arhan Technique Jalan 8 8-6A From JKR A Guide on Geometric Design Road so as you can see, this is the the Arhatari Jalan. So so you can see the type of vehicles: passenger cars, motorcycles, light vans, medium lorries, and heavy lorries and buses. So uh, for this type of roads, we can see uh, whether it is rural standards, urban standards, roundabout design, or traffic design. So for my location, uh, that, that is the urban standards. So you can see the value of the urban standards. So from my calculation, you can see the total for vehicle for that lane only. For this uh, orange color is for lane 1. For that uh, 30 minutes, there are 90 cars and the conveyor factor is 1. For the conveyor factor is from this table. You can see 1 for urban standards. So this is based on what type of location that you are recording so for my location is for urban there is 1 uh, 0.75 for motorcycles light vans 2 2.5 for video lorries heavy lorries 3 buses 3 so we will multiply the total vehicles with the conversion factor to get the PCU per hour or passenger car unit per for that hour so for this uh, for this type of calculation we will calculate each lanes so that we can know the total passenger car unit per hour okay so for this chart this is the total percentage of vehicle for this lane so i will show you the calculation on how i calculate the percentage this is uh, i think this is for a basic calculation so this is the percentage so as you can see 
the percentage of each vehicles. Okay, and this is the data and analysis for each lane. As you can see, lane one V and uh, label V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, and this is the type of vehicles. And this is the total of each vehicles at the amount for this period there is 855 vehicles. That is the total vehicles by direction and the type of vehicles. So this is the interval for 10 minutes that I have said before uh, for this type of calculation or type of test. Uh, I will be recording for a 30 minute, 30 minute period for the 6 lane junction as signalized. So this is for lane 1, lane 2, lane 3, lane 4 and so on. So this is the percentage that I have calculated for each of the cars. This is the commercial factor that I have said before. And this is the total of vehicles for all the six lanes for the period of 30 minutes. This is the number of vehicles per hour, volume of traffic and volume per hour. So this is the calculation. So I have seen the percentage. You can see the percentage. The number of vehicles divided by the total number of vehicles times 100. So the number of vehicles, number of vehicles, number of vehicles divided by 30 minutes divided by 60. Why 60? Because 60 is per hour. So 30 is because we record this video for 30 period, 30 minutes of period of time. So this is the PCU per hour. That is passenger car unit. 576 the traffic volume per hour you see 1152 that is this is only for car as you can see that car have the largest amount of vehicles and hourly estimated volume 1710 and total traffic volume 1679 so this is based on the calculation that I have calculated in the graph and this is the traffic composition, how many passenger cars, motorcycles, light vans and so on. So this is the lane graph of the total of vehicles time. As you can see, uh, the largest will be uh, V6 at a period of 25 minutes. So uh, lane 6 has the largest amount of vehicles during the 25th minute. So, from that data, we can conclude and we can make a better road or better congestion system, better lane system for the upcoming data. So, I would like to thank you for everyone or for who is watching this video, for referring my video. And this is uh, for my video assignment for practical test and the conclusion for this experiment or this study is to uh, have or to take an average daily traffic for any junction for a T junction that has six lane patterns so that we can know how many cars or how many vehicles that are uh, moving in that area or in that certain lane for that period of time. So thank you again and bye bye.